here you can see some of the questions which can appear in dsp subject in examination you can see module wise module 1 frequency domain sampling and reconstruction derivation derivation will be asked you can see the previous exam question papers also for dsp these questions are repeatedly asked and dft as a linear transformation also and find the dft and verify using idft magnitude and phase plot sketch these questions are also asked properties of dft uh, which is the derivation you need to prove these properties uh, you can see these are the properties linearity periodicity time shift frequency shift time reversal so they will ask uh, questions on properties of dft for sure and you will get problems on time shift phase shift time reversal conjugate also and also problems on stack amps method you can expect so these are the few type of questions you can expect in module 1 if you see module 2 difference between the linear convolution and circular convolution may be asked sometimes the theory question uh, need to be put over the question paper these type of questions will be asked difference between overlap save and over uh, general procedure for overlap save and overlap add method problems on overlap save and add method uh, usually problem on overlap save and add method will be there twiddle factor properties and dit and dif algorithm derivations you will see and bit reverse address for uh, n is equal to 4 8 and 16 and differences between the direct dft and the fft and computation of number of butterflies stages multiplications additions twiddle factors efficiency uh, will be asked and the problems on find the dft using dit and dif algorithms find the idft using dit and dif algorithms find the convolution using fft algorithms and then list the difference between dit and dif algorithms so these are the 13 questions listed out here on module 2 problems you can't uh, we can't say like these are the kind of values they give generally you need to learn how to solve those problems using dft and idft so then come to module 3 it is of uh, filters usually design of analog uh, filters like uh, a low pass high pass band pass band eject filters and the derivation of butterworth uh, order filter and design of digital filters using analog butterworth also may be asked direct form 1 and direct form 2 structures and frequency transformation this is about module 3 module 3 you can uh, expect uh, design of filters and one um, derivation and coming to module 4 again design of digital fir filters using different windows and fir filter design procedure derivation of linear symmetric fir filter direct form cascade form lattice structure frequency sampling method of designing fir digital filters Differences between IIR and FIR filters may be asked in module 4. And coming to module 5, this is of uh, architectures of DSPs. You will get to write the architecture of a particular uh, DSP, DSP architecture, DSP hardware units may be asked and fixed point format, floating point format will be there. And uh, then you may get IEEE formats, multiplications and Q format representations fixed point and floating point dsp processor architectures differences between von neumann and harvard architecture iir and fir filter implementation here you can easily expect one architecture diagram uh, question so this is about the questions here the professor has made these questions uh, and in the next video i am going to give you some of the kind of values with problems uh, problem with values how the question